Hello guys, what's up? This is Shirt Talking, welcome back to my channel. So today, if you're just about romancing Saga Universe, we'll be talking about the Treasure Cave. This is a particular event that just got released that will happen in once in a while. I think it's the most rewarding event in this game. But it's very grinding as well, so it depends if you are planning to grind the event uh, with efficiency or you just want to farm a little and be done with that. You can see on this image, we, they are already telling you how many different stuff you can get from the event but these are not the best rewards we have to check that uh, let's just click here on treasure cave you will see uh, the drops are amazing because you can get some style pieces from some very good characters and then we have a zombie as an attacker you can even farm a zombie if you are lucky enough and the other things are uh, platinum summon ticket this is the best way to farm platinum summon tickets it still depends on rng because it's not a guarantee to drop uh, we can also get stamina potions so we can keep farming even more. It becomes a cycle. We spin stamina, you recover stamina, and just keep farming because you want the pieces. Uh, these are the rewards for the treasure cave normal. And then we have the rewards for the treasure cave gold. Because we have two different uh, treasure caves based on the different maps that drop. You can see this one is a little better. Actually, way better. You have way more characters to farm. The pieces, even Gustav, a very good character uh, that you could even farm if you are lucky enough. And you can also use them to cap your characters. Also the blank pieces for gold and silver on this time. And platinum secret as well. With the uh, stamina potion that recovers 16 stamina as well. I think this is amazing guys. But we need to talk about this step by step. I prepared some images to try to explain everything about this event. Okay, first hint, uh, description of the event. You can see that while this event is active, all the story stages will have a chance to drop in a treasure maps. Uh, what do you do with those maps? You use them on a special stage to get lots of rewards such as platinum tickets, style pieces and much more. You can see that a uh, gold treasure map will give you access to this battle and only one is enough. Very good, but the chances of appearing are very low. And uh, the other, that common treasure cave, we have access by using 50 treasure maps. That's a quite a lot, so it needs a lot of grinding, lots of farming. Okay, so this was the first hint. Now we have the second one. The second one is the most important because it talks about the, the drop hates of these maps. You see that we can go to the story mode and we will be checking the stages. You hear? You see that there is a special offer. And yeah, this is special offer is because that we have a chance of getting the maps. We can click on any stage and it will appear on the drops. Any one of them we have this treasure cave map and the SS treasure cave map. I used to call it common and gold maps. So all stages through chapter 1 to chapter 7 we have a chance of dropping them. But you can see uh, you can even get a 2 times drop from the normal one. But the gold one I never saw. I don't think there is any chance of dropping two on the same time. Um, the chances of you getting one single Como map is 55%. This is, was data mined by Gamerc. And the chances of getting a gold map is only 1%. So only one in 100 runs will give you that. And the average of one Como map for every two runs on any stage. So you may be asking, uh, what's the difference between all stages then? Because we have lots of stages and they all have different stamina costs. Well, no different whatsoever. You have to just try to farm the lowest stage to get the best efficiency, and we'll talk about this uh, later. Just another information, you do not need to use your maps now, but I strongly recommend you doing so because you can get stamina potions, and more stamina potions will help you farming even more maps and keep the cycle going. So let's go here now on the next image. The next image talks about the efficiency and you see uh, you should increase the rank experience that you can acquire by running a stage so uh, more rank experience means more level ups which level up means that you'll be getting all your stamina back so this is why you want to get more rankings if you are playing the game uh, you are a veteran you probably already farmed ss gray with the new year's event uh, if you do not plan on farming him you can also use s leon they both increase Rank experience. You can see SS New York Cray will give you 10%. I'm using him right now. Uh, could be Leon. Leon gives uh, only 7%, but it also helps if you do not have Gray. You see that he's leading my squad. 
Uh, you can also increase the aura that you get by using SS Cat and S Galaha, but I do not recommend because it barely makes any difference. The stage barely drops any gold, so you do not need to do that. So next image, we can uh, now talk a, a little more about efficiency. Uh, besides using a character that increases your rank experience, we can also farm for some stuff here. You can choose well the characters that you are bringing alongside your Grey, your Leon. My Grey is enough to clear the whole stage very easily. Uh, I'm also bringing Jamil because he has double gains right now. And all three characters that I'm also bringing for other things. I will be clicking here on back and we will be talking about more of the efficiency. You can see that... Uh, just like I said, if the drop rate is the same between all stages, then focusing on Summit's Gate 1.2.12 on normal is the best reward that you can get. You can see that we still have the treasure maps here, the SS, and the normal one. And also Rouge. Rouge is the most important thing after the maps. Rouge can be either uh, use it to uncap your Rouge, or you can also use him to just uh, become a blank piece for all the characters, but it would take some time to get Rouge maxed unless you already farm it for him in the past events. Uh, so you can see that this is yet again the best place to farm. I know some people may be tired of by farming Rouge stages, and those can still farm all their stuff while this event is going on, so they will not have the better efficiency. So uh, still talking about efficiency, we can do some other things while we are farming here. You can see that this stage here, Summit's Gate on Normal, has a uh, status cap of 12 on status and 380 HP. So this is why I'm bringing these characters alongside Grey. Just looking here, you can see that Grey doesn't have any sparks because he's already over the limit. And we have four characters that are still not on the limit, but they are probably just getting HP. Uh, you can see, let me go here on edit or just click here on this page. You see Jamil is still on 260 HP. He still has some HP to learn. Same for Azura, for Aini, and Madeline. So you can also take this moment to farm some jewels. You see uh, on the left side of the image, you get some jewels by reaching 100 HP, 200 HP, and 300 HP. So just cycle between the characters if you are farming this for too long, and it will make it even easier. Uh, besides using Grey, you could uh, also use another mage, uh, like Blue, or maybe Sophia, the, the Christmas version, to try to clear the waves with magic. They will make it a little faster. You can see here we have... Rouge doesn't do that. It has to be either Blue, or maybe Christmas Sophia, or under mage that you can build. That will clear waves faster. But I don't think there's so much difference. It's only for the min max players that are hardcore players that think that 3 seconds uh, makes for a better performance. And they are probably also restoring their stamina with gems. This is something that I won't be doing. So I will use all of my stamina potions, use all of my resources, and try to get the best that I can get. Remember, you can also get some stamina potions by Monster Fuel Cave, and you can also get a little more by going to the White Crystal Exchange on the Shop Exchange. Remember that because this is the best moment for you to use all of your stamina potions and keep farming and farming. I will just do a run here while we talk about this. You can see that it's pretty pretty... You will know that it's very very easy to clear this for uh, even newcomers. You know that in the first day of playing you can get past this stage with very easy. Uh, maybe if you need to use some exhibition tickets if you are a newcomer. But keep farming here, at least for some days, you get the best value of everything. You see that my Grey is getting uh, his uh, skills maxed very easily, because he's the first one to go. I'm using Speculation Formation, and I can use some other characters as well. They are also getting some level ups with their uh, skills. We can also get some jewels by leveling up to level 99 and level 95, but it takes so much time to reach that, that I don't know if I'll keep <laughs> farming for skills. You see, very, very easy. My characters are still getting some status, getting more HP. With more HP, we can get more jewels. So let me show you the rewards that I got by running this event. You see that right now I have... These rewards from the first run of the treasure cave, the common one, I got lots of silver pieces, some aurum, and some materials for awakening. It was not so good. But then uh, the gold one was way better. You see, uh, I got some style pieces for Genie, 
some blank style piece, some for goo stuff as well. Okay, so now I'll be doing a run on Treasure Cave. Uh, you can see on the left side I have the Treasure Cave Gold version. I will be switching out to the normal version. This is what we'll be doing now. Let's just go here, Treasure Cave, 50 maps. That's quite a lot. Let's see if we can get some good stuff. The, the battle here is super, super simple, guys. There's no uh, secret here. You just can win this like with a very beginner account. I always kill the enemy with the first attack. You see? Very, very simple. We got a lot of Samina back. And some Platinum tickets as well this time. The last time I didn't got, so this is worth two summons already. Very, very nice. And some materials for Awakening. And nine Stamina Potions. Alongside three Silver Pieces. Very, very awesome. I just want to say that this is the best event that we will have for quite a lot of time. So using all your stamina potions will be very important. You do not need to hold back, use everything here because it just converts into even more summons in the future. Free summons, guys. Do take notice that this won't happen anytime soon again. Just take this moment, farm everything, try to get chance by clearing the stages, get more stamina, use all the stamina that you're getting, get platinum tickets, be happy <laughs> that we have this event right now on Global. So this is it, thank you for watching, you can subscribe to this channel if you still haven't, so we see each other on the next video. Bye.